Hello, my name is Claire Amokankus, and together with my colleague Nathan Nahasson, we will be demonstrating how to isolate Xanthomonas campestris, a pathogen that causes common bacterial blight in beans from infected leaves. When working with pathogens, you may either wear gloves or sterilize your hands using ethanol. To isolate Xanthomonas campestris, you will need to collect infected leaves from the field. From the infected leaves, you cut off the infected part, showing the typical symptoms of the disease. These pieces will need to be sterilized to kill any other organisms. To sterilize the leaf material, you will need 2% hypochlorite. After two minutes, rinse off the excess hypochlorite using distilled water. This process should be repeated twice to ensure no excess hypochlorite is carried on the leaf material. The material is now ready for isolation. Using a light scale, weigh the cut leaf material. Cut the leaf material into smaller pieces using a sterilized blade. Place the cut pieces of leaf material into a micropyre bottle. Using sterile phosphate buffer, add to the leaf material at a rate of two mils per gram of the leaf material. In this case, we have added 500 microliters to a quarter gram of material. Leave the leaf material to soak in PBS for 16 to 24 hours. The next step will be to create serial dilutions of the homogenate. To do this, add 4.5 ml of phosphate buffer into four micropyre bottles. Label the four tubes from 10 minus 1 to 10 minus 4. Potex the homogenate at 100 reps per minute. To make the dilutions, pipette 500 microliters of the leaf homogenate into the first tube of 10 minus 1. Botex the diluent at 100 reps per minute for 1 to 2 minutes. For the next dilution, pipette 500 microliters from tube number 1 to tube number 2 and Botex for 1 to 2 minutes. The next step will be to plate the homogenates on MXP media. To do this, pipette 100 microliters of each of the diluents on a separate MXP plate. Spread evenly using a spreader. Ensure to sterilize the spreader at each stage. Using sealing tape, seal off the petri dishes for each of the concentrations. Incubate the plates for five to six days at 28 degrees Celsius. The plates should be well labeled, showing the date of plating and the pathogen, as well as the media. After five to six days of incubation at 28 degrees Celsius, remove the cultures. Open up the, the plate and sterilize the wire loop, allow to cool, and then slightly use it to touch one colony and streak the surface of YDCA media. Seal the inoculated plate very securely using sealing tape. Label the plate to show the date and the organism that you have cultured. Then incubate for two days at 28 degrees as before. The next step is to produce inoculum that you will use to inoculate plants. To do this, 
flood the plate with phosphate buffer. Using a sterile forceps, scrape the bacteria off the media to mix with a buffer. Pour the bacteria homogenate into a flask. At this stage, the soil concentration is high. You will need to dilute it further. To do this, add a little more buffer and shake the mixture lightly. Before inoculating the plants, you will need to adjust the soil concentration of the bacterial mixture. To do this, you will either need a hemocytometer, which you will use to adjust the concentration to 5 by 10 cells per mil, or you may use a spectrophotometer to adjust the concentration to a wavelength of 620 nanometers, as shown in the manual. 